This Harvard's entrance examination requires that we found the value of a squared plus b squared and a b they are positive integers. Okay, now um this is some I don't know how to explain it, but let's go into it first. So eight a to the power of a b to the power of b is equal to twenty seven a to the power of b b to the power of a now first of all let's make this side to be equal to one and to do that we are going to bring this to divide this right so we are going to have eight a to the power of a b to the power of b divided by 27 a to the power of b b to the power of a is equal to one all right so this implies that eight over 27 Okay, multiplied by now a to the power of a divided by a to the power of three b using the exponent law that a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y, right? Now, if it's division, if it's division, then it's going to be x minus y. So this time around it is division, so we are going to subtract the powers and pick one base. So we are going to pick a as our base and we are going to subtract the powers a minus b then similarly b to the power of b divided by b to the power of a we are going to pick one b and we are going to subtract the powers is equal to one all right perfect so this implies 8 over 27 let me continue from this side so we have 8 over 27 all right then a to the power of a minus b multiplied by now i want to have a minus b here again and to do that that means i need to have a negative um power and once i introduce negative power that means this is supposed to be one over b raised to the power of minus b minus a right all right perfect is equal to one so what we have now is eight over 27 multiplied by what this a will come eight to the power of a minus b times 1 is a to the power of a minus b, right? Divided by, so we now have b minus times b will give us minus b and minus times minus a will give us plus a. So automatically this is also a, a minus b. So let's write it that way to avoid confusion. So this becomes b to the power of a minus b as well is equal to 1. All right, now I want this to go to the other side of this equation. And to do that, that means I need to divide both sides of this equation or to multiply both sides of this equation by b to the power of a minus b over a to the power of a minus b. So if I do that, I will have that 8 over 27, okay, is equal to b raised to the power of a minus b divided by a raised to the power of a minus b all right perfect so we have 8 over 27 is equal to since they have the same power we can write this a b over a raised to the power of a minus b right okay now we can um factorize this or sorry put this in in index form and in index form 8 is same thing as 2 to the power of 3 and 27 is same thing as 3 to the power of 3. Okay? All right. Is equal to b over a raised to the power of a minus b. All right. So, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now, look at what we have here. So, this can be written as the left hand side can be written as. 2 over 3 raised to the power of 3, since they share the same power, right? Is equal to b over a raised to the power of a minus b. Perfect. Now, by comparison, 2 over 3 is equal to b over a, and 3 is equal to a minus b, right? So, we can say that 2 over 3 is equal to what? b over a. Let's call this equation 1. And we can say that 3 is equal to a minus b. Let's call this equation 2. Okay. Now, let's continue. From 1, from equation 1, if we cross multiply, we are going to have that what? A. 2a is equal to 3b. 
So this implies that our A is equal to 3B over 2. All right? So that is our A. Now let's call this equation 3. Now if we substitute 3, let's substitute 3 into equation 2. All right? So if we substitute the value of A into equation 2, we have that 3 is equal to... Uh, a is 3B over 2, right? Then minus B. Okay. So this sentence has 3 is equal to 3 over 2 bracket B minus B, right? Sorry. So we have that 3 is equal to... What do they have in common? They have B in common. Now, when 3B over 2 is divided by B, we have 3 over 2. Minus when B is divided by B, we have 1, okay? So we can now solve, permit me to turn her. All right. So we can now solve that 3 is equal to what? B bracket. Now let's solve this. This sentence as 1 over 1. The LCM is 2 times 1. I'm going to use a shortcut called... The butterfly method. So 2 times 1 is the denominator. Then I cross multiply. 3 times 1 will give me 3. Minus 2 times 1 will give me 2. Okay? So that means that 3 is equal to B minus what? Half. Alright. B times half. So to get the value of B, we are going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So if we do that, we are going to have that 6 is equal to B. So let's call this equation 4. Yeah, this is 3. So let's call this 4. Now we have B to be 6. Let's substitute 4 into equation 2 again to get the value of A. Okay? So if we do that, we are going to have that 3 is equal to A minus uh, B is 6, right? So this implies that 3 plus 6 is equal to A. That means our A is 9. Now back to the question. The question says, a squared plus B squared, right, is equal to what? Now, our uh, A is 9, so it's going to be 9 squared plus our uh, B is 6, 6 squared. And this will give us what? 81 plus 36. And 81 plus 36 is 117. All right, that's the solution. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.